Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's the famous Robin Hood of the Old West. Cisco, the sheriff, he is getting closer. This way, Pacho, Pacho. The Cisco Kid. <laughs> Like the magician who pulls a rabbit out of a hat with a few words of magic, you can pull a good meal out of the bread box with just six well-chosen words. Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. Words of pure magic when it comes to serving a good breakfast, a nourishing lunch, or a filling, satisfying dinner. Good butternut bread. It's just like saying abracadabra over a hungry family. Butternut is fresh. It's rich. It's soft and white and tender. And butternut bread is nourishing bread, too. It's enriched with extra vitamins and minerals, the quick food energy we all need. And most important, butternut's nourishing goodness lasts right down to the last tender slice. You'll never have to waste a single slice. So next time you buy bread, buy the loaf in the blue and white check gingham picture wrapper. Good butternut bread. <laughs> And now, the Cisco Kid in our exciting story, Indian Ambush. The turbulent, hectic frontier days of our country in the 1870s were increased in danger by the periodic outbreaks of marauding Indians. From time to time, various tribes took to the warpath, even though a peace treaty had been signed. Most of the uprisings were subdued with great efficiency by the border units of cavalry, skilled in the methods of Indian warfare. One band of Mescalero Apaches, however, seemed to be able to elude any trap set for them. The serious situation caused by this is the topic of conversation among a group of army officers as our story opens. I tell you that that band of Indian raiders are as well organized as any one of our army. Look, they've hit every one of these towns here, here, and here, and here. Excuse me, General Minister. Just but I a moment, Major Holderness. I'm not through. I know you and every one of your officers have tried to capture these redskins, or at least to get some lead on them. Results are what count in the service, gentlemen, and results are what General Miles wants. May I speak now, General Minna? Yes, Major Holderness. Go ahead. How does General Miles expect us to fight Indians who seem to know every move we make? I say there's a traitor among us. Find that traitor and we'll be able to find those Apache renegades. General Miles does not share your opinion, gentlemen. And since he is commanding officer on this frontier, I will carry out his orders, and so will you. Now, this letter from him instructs me to cooperate fully with the messenger who brought it. Uh, Captain Collins, you're closest to the door. Have the man in the corridor come in here. Gracias, Capitan. I'm at your service, General Minter. So, you're the Cisco Kid. See, si, General Minter. Why, this man's a notorious outlaw. Major Holderness. Why not allow him to express himself, Senor General? I am interested in what he may have to say. Don't you think for one moment any of us are fooled by your fancy manner, Cisco? That's enough, Major Holderness. Yes, sir. General Miles saw fit to trust the Cisco Kid. We will do the same. That's an order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, what will you require, Cisco, in the way of men and equipment? Nothing, General Minter. All I want from you is the assurance that no troops will be dispatched against these Apache raiders for one month. But in the meantime, they'll... Very well. It will be done. General Minter, I don't care if I'm court-martialed for what I have to There'll say. There'll be no court-martial. Say it, Major Holderness. I know we're duty-bound to follow orders. But if you accede to the request of the Cisco kid, a thousand lives will be endangered. 
Not one of them will be lost, Major. I'll hold you to that, Cisco. If one person dies as a result of your request, your life will be forfeit for his. I'll see to it personally. Simmer down. There ain't no need to get restless. Here comes Buck Morath now. Oh, yeah. Oh, now. Stand. Howdy, Buck. Uh, Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, Howdy, boys. Howdy, Jib. Well, what was all the commotion about? Boys, we're getting a bit restless. Come on, let's get mounted and get out of here. Now, hold on now. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There ain't no all-fired hurry about it. The blazes are ain't. We've never been so near an army post before. It's like sending an invitation to them soldier boys to come out and get us. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no need to worry about that. No need to be restless on account of it. Why? Why not? Well, because for the next 30 days, the Army has decided not to send any patrols after these, uh, Apache Raiders. <laughs> Are you sure, Buck? Are you sure? Why, just as sure as your Jib Weldon. We ain't never been steered wrong yet, have we? No, that's a fact. We ain't. No patrols for 30 days, huh? <laughs> and, uh, you know who we got to thank for it, boys? The Cisco Kid. <laughs> that may not be so funny, Buck. Oh, come on. Mount up, boys. All right, you too, Jib. You act as if we didn't have a secret source of information. As far as any of us are concerned, we don't. You're the only one who knows who he is. No, and that's the way it's going to stay, steady. Oh, so the boss's orders, huh? That's right. Because it's the boss's orders. All right, let's move out. I tell you, that Cisco kid's plenty smart, Buck. So's our boss. That's why he picked me to lead this outfit. I've heard that Cisco saved the life of the Apache chief, Mangus, Colorado. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Because of Mangus, Colorado, Cisco's going to be able to find out there ain't no mescaleras on the warpath. Hey, Buck. That gives us a whole month of raiding without having to swing around them cavalry patrols. <laughs> well, now you're talking like the Indian you're supposed to be. A whole month of raiding. A whole month of burning and pillaging. Before the month's up, the Cisco kid will be dead. Poncho scared, Cisco. Scared of what, Poncho? Oh, the nighttime, that red color in the sky, and that Indian tom tom. There is nothing to fear from the night, Chico. If those Indians wanted to harm us, they would have done it before now. Oh, how those Indians could know we were riding toward their camp? They have probably known about it since yesterday when we first rode into these mountains. Poncho, not even see one Indian yet. You've not been watching sharply. You'll soon see a great many Indians. As soon as we round this hill, I think. Oh, Pancho, hold there. There are none of the Mescalero raiders here. Madre me. Oh, it looked to Pancho like all the Apache tribes gathered here. No, this is the camp of the Mimbrenos. Oh, Pancho, hold they, they, they remember about the peace treaty. They look like they're able to be the very dangerous hombres. Do not forget that Mangas Colorado is a friend of mine. Oh, yeah. Who, who? Who leave the horses here, Pancho? Yeah. Well, it's all right just as long as you not leave Pancho here, too. Why all the hombres stop talking all of a sudden, Cisco? They are watching us, Pancho. Keep walking. Oh, they separate to make a path for us. See? It leads to the big hogan where the chiefs are holding council. There is the medicine man and the tom-tom we've been hearing. Why you, why you stop in front of him, Cisco? Cito. In the liquor, ye. Oh, what he says, he's called. It is a Apache for white eyes, the name given to their white men enemies. Mangus, Colorado, where is he? And donde esta el café? Oh, the medicine men point for us to go into the Indian house. Come on, Pancho. This buffalo hide is the doorway. Santo Ignacio, look who's sit there at the council fire. Yanata, chief of the Mascalados. 
Eyes of Mangus, Colorado, sing with joy to see blood brother Cisco Kid. My heart is happy to see you, Mangus, Colorado, great chief of the noble Membranos. I can tell by the gathering of the tribe outside of this Hogan and by the gathering of the chiefs in here that you know the reason I am here. Apache tribes know, Cisco Kid. Wind of desert bring word to children of desert. No blue coat horse soldier ride in war patrol for one moon. Yanata sits at your council fire. Have the Membranos and the Mescalaros smoked the peace pipe? Not smoked peace pipe yet. After trouble over, maybe tribes unite. Then how is it that the chief of the Mescalaros sits at your council fire while members of his tribe raid the white man's ranchos and settlements? Yanata has sworn by spirit of ancestors. No Mescalaro has broken peace treaty with white men. Oh, but everyone who see those raiders and live to talk about it say they Mescalaros. Does coyote become bear because it wear hide of bear? Renegades not become Indian because they wear Apache cloth and paint body. Renegade, white hombres. I should have thought of that. Apache no Cisco kids stop blue coats from riding against Indian for one moon. But you want to help, Cisco kid? You can help me, chief. I was going to ask you to help me against the Mescaleros when I thought they were the raiders. Now I ask your help against the white renegades. If Indian ride against white men, treaty broken. War follow, like sun after moon. The treaty will not be broken. Much honor will go to braves who capture the white hombre coyotes masquerading as Indians. Mangas Colorado rides with Cisco kid. I have spoken. I he is the medicine hombre. Why he rattle his screen with the bear claws at us? Pinda Liko Ye. White eyes all speak with forked tongue. Cisco kid lead Apache to ambush. <laughs> Mangas Colorado trust blood brother. Take medicine bag to council of squaws. Let Cisco kid prove worthy to lead Indian warriors. Me. Bokon, medicine man of all Apache, throw down challenge. What that mean when he throw the tomahawk in, into the ground? It mean fight to death. Bokon have strong medicine. Prove Cisco kid not tell truth to chiefs. Why would I come here with such a lie, medicine man? To lead Apache chiefs to ambush. Warriors without leaders soon die, too. Mangas, Colorado will fight for Cisco kid. No, me amigo. I accept the challenge myself. The palm of my hand returns your life, Bokan. Aye, Cisco, you not can fight with his weapons. Bokan, wipe out dishonor with blood of Cisco kid. With magic medicine and knife, Bokan, kill! Ah! And since the attack on Cisco is so sudden... Will he act swiftly enough to save his life? In just a moment, we'll return to the Cisco Kid. Give yourself and your family a break every day. Start every morning with a good big breakfast. Because a good breakfast means a good morning. And a good breakfast means... Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. Start every day the healthful way with several good big slices of crisp golden brown butternut toast dripping with rich yellow creamery butter. Sound good? It is good. And good for you, too. Experts tell us that everybody needs a good breakfast every day with plenty of the nourishing foods like butternut bread. Made from healthy, nutritious wheat and enriched with extra vitamins and minerals. Quick food energy for folks who use up that energy quick, at home, at school, or at work. So remember, a good breakfast means a good morning. And a good breakfast means... Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. Back to the Cisco Kid in our gripping story, Indian Ambush. 
Renegade white men, Buck Marath, Jib Weldon, and their gang dress as Apaches and raid towns along the frontier. Major Holderness of the United States Army tells General Minter, his superior officer, that the raiders must be getting information from a traitor. Sisko and Pancho are commissioned to find a means of identifying these Apache raiders. When Sisko requests help from his friend, Chief Mangus Colorado, he learns that the raiders are white men disguised as Apaches. Sisko's request for further aid is met with a challenge from Medicine Man Bokan. With a blood curdling shriek of defiance, Bokan attacks. Now. Before you get the chance to use that knife, grab the wrist, and over my back you go. Ah. Oh, bueno, Cisco, you throw that medicine hombre over your head and then down to the ground. <laughs> wait, wait. Bokan reach for Tomahawk. As far as I am concerned, the fight is over, Bokan. Only when lifeblood of Cisco Kid runs on ground. We'll fight be over. Mangus Colorado will silence the evil of this mad tongue forever. No, gracias, El Jefe. I will do battle with these madmen. If I win, will the chiefs of all the tribes follow me? So be it. Secure your weapons, Bokan. I will get mine. It will be a battle to the death. Oh, oh, now, ho, ho there. Howdy, Buck. Did you see the boss? Yes, I'm all right. <clears throat> what time does he want us to hit first now that there's no cavalry running around to bother yeah, us? No cavalry running All right, simmer down, all of you. Yeah. We ain't after no town this time. We're after a gun. A big gun. A cannon. A cannon? You heard me. One troop of cavalry left the army post this morning headed for Fort Russell. I thought they wasn't supposed to patrol for a month. They're not on patrol. That cavalry's been escorted, going to escort a section of artillery. And that's the big gun we're after. They'll be armed. They'll put up a fight. With that cannon, they can wipe us off the map. Now, don't worry. Don't worry. The boss has thought of everything. We'll ambush that outfit at Eagle Pass. Now, the boss wants us to dig holes in the ground and get in them. Holes in the ground and get into them? What's he expect us to do? Dig our own graves? No, you rockhead. He wants you to have protection from that cannon. All right, boys. Mount up now. Come on. But this boss of ours is pretty smart about military tactics, ain't he? Yeah, he's plenty smart. That's why he's the boss. And all you've got to do is follow out the orders he gives. Fight when he says fight and kill when he says kill. You not can do this. That book only carry the spear and a tommy hawk and a knife. Even great warrior Cisco Kid, no match for medicine man with only a rope. Pancho, Mangas Colorado. Now listen to me, mis amigos. I have a plan and a suspicion. If I am right, we will learn all we need to know to capture those renegades posing as Apaches. They yell for medicine man. Bocon mounts his horse. Uh, uh, the sooner this is over, the sooner we can get on to the job we have to do. I with only a rope, you're sure to be killed. The arrow will take care of me. And with a rope, I will take care of Bokan. Up, Gary, come up. Just get it, Diablo. Not too fast. Bad light from the campfire and the slowness of our gate will deceive that medicine man. His aim will not be accurate. I hope. Spirit of death, ride with this lance. Ah, missed me. Gracias a Dios. Oh, ho, ho. Swing around now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This time, he will try with that tomahawk. But we will fool him again, Diablo. Oh, 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 oh. Diablo, fast as the wind. Get up! Only Bacan does not notice the rope in my hand. Curse of blind wolf on Cisco dead! Oh, oh, oh. Save your curse for this rope! Yeah, Diablo! Ah! Bueno, he's cut the rope. Come down off that horse, cut your tight! Ah! Oh, Diablo, ho, ho, ha! Ah. Oh. I need not tell you the kind of death that awaits you if I drag you at the end of this rope over those rocks. Your life flickers like the dying embers of a fire, Bokan. No answer? Then call on your magic to save your life. Up, Diablo! No! No, Cisco can't wait! Oh, Diablo, ho, ho! Hold on, ho! Bokan, talk. 
Tell Cisco Kid what he want to know. Bueno. I know I was right about you. You were too eager to pick a fight with me. You will tell all you know about the white renegades and their leaders. Then you will answer to the law of your own people for conspiring against them. I'm getting tired of waiting here in this blasted hole. Them soldier boys and I can and ought to be here by now, Buck. Well, it ain't. This is where we're going to wait until that outfit does get to Eagle Pass, Jib. Yeah, there's nothing in this hole. But I reckon the rest of the boys are as uncomfortable as I am. You just stay where you are. And the others better stay where they are if they want to stay alive. I'll shoot the first hombre who leaves his hole. You hear me? Ain't you afraid them blue bellies might hear you? They ain't near enough to hear me. And there ain't nobody else around. Quiet and hot as it is today, we'd hear them soon enough. Not even a real Indian could creep up on me without my knowing it. Now, let's... So, not even a real Indian could creep up on you, eh? Not make sound, dog, that walk like man. Not a sound, chief. Take it easy with the point of that knife against my throat. Where now, Mangus, Colorado? As soon as Pancho comes here, we will know the other renegades have been captured by the other chiefs and warriors. Yeah. You're not going to let these Indians massacre us, are you, Cisco? You answer that pack rat's question, Mangus. Now, careful with the knife, Chief. Why, well, renegades, not think of this when they massacre? Cisco, Cisco, Pancho, get a signal from the other Apache chiefs that all these renegade bandidos are captured. Bueno, up on your feet, Maverick. Yeah, 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 sure, whatever you say, Cisco. So that the leader of the Mavericks would make believe to be Indians. Look, my name's Buck Marath. I'll tell you nothing more than that. Now, I'm a white man, and I'm entitled to a trial by white man's law. You will get it, Coyote, as will your hombres and the army traitor who is supplying you information. Who is he? I want to know his name. Maybe Mangus make this jackal tell. I tell you if I knew, Mangus. Nobody knows the big boss except him Buck. Oh, Pancho, think we see that Coyote somewhere before? His name is Jib Weldon. He was run out of El Paso five years ago. Snakes speak truth, Cisco Kid? He must be, Mangus, Colorado. He was Bacon said, too. Only this sidewinder, Buck Morath, has contact with the army officer who's the traitor. Well, how will he find out who he be? I have a plan which might make him betray himself. You, Mezo Megis, will have to take the chance that I can convince the soldados not to open fire on you. Apache chiefs do. Then we will catch the traitor, I'm sure, without spilling a drop of blood if I can help it. is just coming out of Eagle Pass, General Minter. I see the Major Holiness. Better bring the detail to a halt. Tail! What? Tail! Halt! At ease! Rest! Major, those two riders look familiar. Unless I'm blind, they're the Cisco Kid and his partner, Pancho. Hmm. wonder what they're doing coming from the direction of Eagle Pass. We'll, We'll find out soon enough, sir. I still think they should be under military surveillance in spite of General Miles' orders. Buenas tardes, señores. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Oh, I'm a bit surprised to see you here, Cisco. I thought your mission took you among the Indians. It did, Major Holderness. And I learned you were right. There is a traitor among you officers. Just a moment. What facts have you to back up such an accusation? The Apaches and their captives waiting in Eagle Pass right now. The raiders are renegade white hombres. Their leader may be either of you. It's a trap, General. Arrest this man and use the cannon on the hostiles in Eagle Pass. They're within cannon range. Aren't you forgetting about the orders from General Miles? Oh, uh, the soldados, the point of the pass, Cisco. Uh, they see some of the Apaches in those dry gulching renegades. What kind of a trap are you trying to set up, Cisco? Oh, what do you mean, Cisco, set up the trap? Pancho, think you the traitor. What? I ought to run you through with my saber for talk like that. Do not try it, Major Holderness. Santos, the cannon. Up there, here behind. Get out there, get out Cisco, look out. The Major hacked you down with his sword. Use your eyes, Major. The cannon. You're on meter. As soon as I get my rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he ordered them to fire the cannon. Stop him, Cisco. Stop him. If only I can loop my rope around the muzzle of the cannon. Ah, not yellow. 
Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. There is your traitor, Major Holderness. See, that General Mitra, they want to give the information to those make-believe Indian renegades. Why, it... I can hardly believe it. Here is the proof before your eyes. General Minter sneaked away from us and gave the order for that cannon to be used on everyone up ahead in Eagle Pass. Well, I wanted to do the same thing myself. See, but you had no reason to sneak away to give such an order. Your General Minter has. He knew that unless Buck Morath and his renegades were dead, they would implicate him. Cisco, if this is true... Army General Courts Marshal will prove it to be true. Meanwhile, I suggest you place him under arrest to safeguard the lives of your soldados and those friendly Apaches. By the way, Senor Major... Not one drop of blood was shed. She's called. Hey, Pancho. Oh, she's called. Uh, that army courts marshal, they, they bring out that everything you say is the truth. I am glad we are alive to talk about it. Si, I am glad too. It is a good thing that the, the traitor general, he, he get caught. Good thing. Why why he do such a thing, Cisco? Well, he intended to take advantage of all the trouble he created to carve an independent empire out of this territory. Si. Oh, but he, he not be able to try it again. No, he not be able. He, he stay in the jail the rest of his life. See, si, he will. Together with Morath and his renegades. Uh, Pancho, tell me, why did that army sergeant get so angry at you? Oh, well, he, he, he get mad on me when, when he tried to teach Pancho how to march. <laughs> but why? Well, Pancho was the sergeant. He, he, if Pancho should mark time with Pancho's feet. See, and what did the sergeant say? He say, you never hear of marking time with your hands. And Pancho answered, see, sergeant. Clocks do it. Oh, Pancho. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> 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 And so ends another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. <laughs> A big family, a big meal to prepare, and a small budget. That's what you might call the eternal triangle. And there's just one fine way to help you solve it. Just see to it that you serve more... Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. Yes, serve more good butternut bread. More of it, more often. For example, make a leftover meal taste like something special with the simple addition of several slices of butternut bread. Serve it toasted, and maybe sprinkled with cheese or garlic salt. Or serve it toasted under those creamed leftovers. Or in big delicious sandwiches with yesterday's beef roast, slice just the right thickness. Dozens of ways that butternut can help you build a better budget meal. Yes, if you've a big family and a small budget, remember, serve more butternut bread. Pick up the only loaf in the blue and white check gingham picture wrapper. Good butternut bread. You'll like it. Everybody does. Be sure to listen again for another thrilling adventure of The Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Mather, Poncho by Mel Blank. <laughs>